Hey everyone, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time everyone, we are going to be taking a look after much anticipated waiting. We will be looking at the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Computron. We have all seven, uh, uh, okay, I think we have technical difficulties. Whoopsie! Okay, sorry about that everyone. I believe we had a, a missing Technobot, but we found him, and that was um, Skybax. But that's okay, so um, we have all seven Technobots ready to go. We have Scattershot, obviously, Strafe, uh, li uh, Lightspeed, Afterbreaker, Nosecone, Skybax, and Scround all ready to go. So let's, without further ado, let's stop waiting around and let's combine everyone into Computron. So obviously, um, <laughs> some of which, some of these will obviously, <laughs> will be quick, and some of the transformations and stuff, so let's just get right into it right now. So of course we have all the pieces right here, Computron's feet, Computron's hands, set those away. Put those away right now, okay? And then of course we'll just set everyone up to the side for the moment. Um, and let's start with um, Skybats and Shroud. Obviously, we will connect them together like this, and that, that, that's them done. For Scattershot is, well, pretty much the same as, for the Torso, um, is pretty much the same as, uh, well, Sil Silverbolt, um, Scattershot, Retail, Release Version, and uh, Cyclonus. So, of course, take everything off, get everything off the side, transform everyone right there like so. Flip these pieces around like so. Flip the flip the flip the wrists around like this. Then we will rotate these guys around. Flip the feet around like so. Flip the uh, flip the piece around. Open up the open up the panel like this. Flip the panel around like that. I'll flip the feet in like so. Then we are set to go. Oh no, we have to flip the oh no, we have to flip the heel in. Then we can flip the feet around like this. Then we can rotate the foot around. That is how the way it is done. And then we will. Uh, Flip these panels in like that. Then we will have the ability to, uh, of course, uh, of course, uh, flip the, get the chest open, get the Computron head out, flip it around like so, get it ready like that, um, and then get the chest lined up and ready to go, or get the chest panels connect connected uh, like that. Open up the connectors like that. Flip them around like so. Um, get the wings out, and that's really it. That's the that's the the midsection for Computron complete. And then of course we'll make, get the main weapon combined just to get things ready to go. So get that ready to go, easy as that. Okay, I think we're good. Um, so we will start now. Well, obviously we'll start with light speed. His transformation to foot mode is very easy. We've done this before. You've seen them in previous videos. No need to explain. So flip these. Flip this bit around like that, and then we'll take a foot here, we'll grab a foot here, and we'll just connect it right into here, and there's a connector piece, so we'll just get that shoved right in like that, and that's one foot complete. For the arms, no, actually, no, let's do nose cone first. Nose cone, we will do the following. Basically, for nose cone, you just want to rotate, flip this, flip this bit around like that, and I, no, you can't rotate. Flip this bit around like so, um, and then flip the connector bit up like that, and then you can, um, you can take uh, another, grab another foot, grab the other foot, sorry, and there's a little hole right here, and then you can just connect it like that and there is the feet for them complete. Oh, I forgot to flip the connector bit up for uh, light speed. My bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's two technical difficulties in one video. I, I'm, I really do that. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So um, let's do the arms next. And I have the instructions by me, so just so we can get everything situated. So let's do the following regarding the transformation on. Um, on lol speed. No, not lol speed, what the lol. Okay, so um, here's what we're gonna do. Afterbreaker, right, sorry. So for Afterbreaker, what do we do? Well, basically what we do here is, well, I'm just gonna look here real quick just to see what are we supposed to do here. Uh, yeah, okay, so pretty much what you do here is you just, you 
take, you connect, you reconnect the arms and the feet like that. Yeah, reconnect the reconnect the lower half, rotate it around, and then just, uh, yeah, get just get them flipped around like that, and then flip flip the connector bit up like that, and then fold just fold back the arms like so to just uh, get get them connected, and that is. Um, Excuse me, that is that arm complete. And then we'll get one of the arms in so that, if I'm not mistaken, uh, yeah, that's that's the way it's supposed to go. Uh, yeah, get that arm fitted in like that. And there you go, there is one arm for Coppertron complete. The other arm, which will be for strafe, uh, we'll get the weapons popped off. And then to transform him into, transform him into an arm, what you do here is, well, kind of basic aerial bot kind of transformation. What you do is you obviously flip the connector bit up like this. Then you're supposed to flip the arms around like that. Then what you do is you connect the arms like this. Uh, and then you're supposed to, yeah, supposed to rotate them back like this. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, there we go. And then get them bended, bended forward like that. Uh, get the arms rotated back as far as you can, um, like so. I'm just gonna look real quick these stretches just to see if, if I'm doing anything wrong here. Uh, hmm. Uh, nope. Yeah, actually, yeah. There is a. You're supposed to flip. You're supposed to flip these bits back. Yeah. Flip those panels uh, forward like this. And then what you're supposed to do here is make sure you don't. Uh, uh, get these folded back. Sorry about my bad about that. Uh, yeah, this is bit uh, a bit of a sloppy connection. So I think you're supposed to have the arms retransformed back into aerial bot mode. But no, I don't think that's the way it's supposed to go. I think it's supposed to be like this way, and then it's supposed to be bent like that way, and then you have the ability to connect this way, which is awesome because. Everything needs to stay in place, so I think I must have some loose a loose connector somewhere. Anyhow, okay, so, um, so yeah, that's essentially um, that's essentially that arm uh, complete. Yeah, there you go. There is, there's that arm. No, it's actually not complete. You're supposed to have it like this, and then you have it complete. Uh, I believe no. Uh, it's it's disconnected again. Hold on. I'm look at. I'm gonna look these stretches really uh, intently here because I don't want to mess things up here. So let's look very closely again at the instructions. No, no. Yeah, there we go. So it's supposed to go something like. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So that's how it's supposed to go. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I'm looking here. I'm looking here. And uh, da, 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 da. No. my bad. The arms are supposed to go the other way. They're supposed to rotate around and fold up like this. So yeah. Sorry, my bad. That's supposed to rotate arms around like that, and then they're supposed to they're supposed to be like this somehow. So anyway, <laughs> whatever you say. Instructions. <laughs> I mean, to, you can do whatever you want with this arm. I'm just, you know, uh, looking to see what else I'm forgetting. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, no, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Okay, so I think we're good on that. Uh, so now the next little bit here is to attach the hand. So get the hand connected like so. So connect the hand, and there is the hand. Now, what do we do about Skybax and Scround? Well, there's a little peg right here on the top of the cockpit of Strafe. There is a hole right on the bottom of Scrounge's little crotch. You're supposed to connect both sections together, and it's supposed to stay, and oh my god, it's amazing, isn't it? Alright, uh, as for the other weapons, uh, well, first, <laughs> we will, um, well, first we will get, we'll arm this arm with the main weapon, so we'll get that arm connected like this. Uh, and then we will get the other weapons co connected like the following. So for Strafe's uh, uh, armament, we'll just uh, 
Strait's armament will plug right into these wings here like so, so be careful. Don't, make sure you don't uh, mess anything up here at this point because you, you worked, like pretty much at this point, uh, we've worked really hard on getting the weapons and everything combined into weapon mode, so we will get those connected like so. Uh, then for, uh, uh, what's, uh, light, br uh, light speeds, light speeds, uh, uh weapon, uh, we will connect it onto the following, uh, well, <laughs> wherever it will connect. Actually, we'll attach it to Nose Cone's side here and pull, point it forward. So, anyway, there you go. And then, as for the uh, connection connection components, uh, we will do this. So, we'll, we'll get them connected. So, let's get the copy chart ready. So, we'll get uh, this leg connected here like so. Uh, which, uh, there you go, get that leg connected. Get that leg connected like this. So that's pretty good. So we'll obviously get this gun off. So and point it on the other side. So that is a little bit of a mistake on my part. My apologies on that. Uh, get that in. There we go. Like that. And then, what do we do next? Well, uh, well, you can do many things. Uh, well. <laughs> Next, actually, the next little bit is to get the arms connected. So we'll do that. We'll get uh, we'll get strafe connected here like this, and we'll get afterbreaker on the other arm like this, like so. And then of course flip up the antennas to to uh, to to prominentize Computron like this. And there you go. There you have Computron in combined mode. Oh my god, he looks awesome. <laughs> he really does. I mean, for a figure that was appeared in like, what, two episodes of the Combiner Wars animated series by Mashinima, I mean, it's pretty good. I wish the individual characters would have had, like, some episodes. I wish the uh, Sonicons would have had the same thing. Same with Victorion, same, same with Devastators. Uh, uh, you know, Devastator, I mean. We haven't, reviewed, we haven't reviewed a combiner since Betatron, so it's nice that I completed it all. So, anyhow, all in all, Computron looks amazing. The articulation wise, it's the same with all the combiners. Antennas go back and forth. They're a little loose on, on this one. Arms go full through 60, out to the side, by the elbow, rotate. Wrists can rotate, but they don't have any finger posability. Uh, no waist, but the legs go forward, back, out to the side. They will bend to the knee, they will rotate. Feet can angle, tilt, and bend, and do whatever, and same same with all the individual components and whatnot. Take a look at Copytron's head. It's the same as, it's, uh, it's the same as Superion and Betatron. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not a retool, it's just basically straight repainted, and that's really it. So, not much you could get out of that, but all in all, it's not the end of the world. So, <laughs> what in the world can you do on that? Anyhow. So, we'll now take a look at, um, well first, uh, be really careful here, uh, there we go. We'll take a look at Beta, uh, beta not beta, beta Tron, Copytron's massive bio card. You can see, look at it, it's just amazing, isn't it? Like, look at it, it's just like, oh my god, you can see there's all this lovely detail from the box, box art. It's the same with every combiner, Victorion for example, you got, uh, Combiner Wars, Copytron, nothing on the back. That's really it for that. And now we will take a look. Uh, and now we will take a look at Copytron's little bio card. You can see it's just a small down version of the artwork, and there's nothing on the back because once again, uh, the Combiner Wars uh, line is forbidden to show any uh, <laughs> any uh, tech specs, like the, unlike the Titans Return figures. But that's okay. By the way, Titans Return and Prime Wars, uh, the part of the Primes are getting uh, some series, apparently, uh, the sequels to Combiner Wars from Machinima, which I can't wait to see what that will uh, uh, pertain, but I think it'll work. I think it will work, and I think it's going to be much successful than what we were get gotten with the Combiner Wars. Anyhow, all in all, will I recommend getting Computron? Honestly, he is so awesome. I say if you really hated the Betatron, then get Computron. If you didn't like Computron, get Betatron. In a nutshell, uh, it pertains to do with Scattershot's color scheme. Do you like the retail? Do you like the gift set version? Honestly, this gift set's amazing. I'd say get it if you want it. I mean, it's not. I mean, it's not Fortress Maximus expensive, but 
I mean, hey, for, I, I was lucky to get Fortress, Ma Fortress Maximus for a good price. Um, but to be honest, Computron here is amazing. You, would, you will not be disappointed about this figure, and I'd say go get him. Uh, the gift set as a whole is awesome, and he's just totally amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Highly recommend it if you can find him. So yeah, that's my, that is my video review. The Transformers Generations Combiner Wars. Uh, just sell class Copytron. I'll see you all very soon. I will be back as soon as possible with my next video. And yeah, so take care. See you soon. Have a good day. And I'll catch you all later. Bye-bye.